When the pandemic first struck, it was a dark time for film fans. Major titles were delayed while movie theaters closed and studios pivoted to streaming. Many people thought that would be the end of the movie theater, that that would be the linchpin to, to bring on this accelerated change. But as vaccines kicked in, movies came back. Fans turned up in droves to see movies such as Dune on the big screen, even though streaming was an option. It's just been feel so like it's been so long since we've been in the theaters, and so um, to have that collective experience of everybody and seeing it in the IMAX is just incredible. There is that need to get out of the house, and I think while the streaming option has been fantastic, uh, a lot of studios are now realizing that it only really worked during the pandemic. <laughs> So going to the movies is back, right? Well, sort of. First, a reality check. With over 3 billion U.S. in box office revenue for North America to date, 2021 is an encouraging improvement on 2020, but far from the glory days of when yearly totals of 10 billion and higher were the norm. There are some bright spots. With the second biggest opening in Hollywood history, Spider-Man No Way Home showed fans will show up for superheroes and sequels. What didn't perform so well? I'm innocent! Adult dramas. This director is looking forward to seeing her first film, This Place, on the big screen. Especially for myself as a, a BIPOC creator who's creating films that are focused on BIPOC communities, to be able to see ourselves larger than life on a big screen is something that I never take for granted and I think is so sacred. But with star-studded films such as House of Gucci and King Richard fizzling on the big screen, what space is there for Canadian storytellers? I think for all of us who are not used to having our films be supported in the same ways or having access to the same spaces, we're even more scared. The reality is with COVID-19 still a threat and fewer theaters, the industry will need to serve up big screen thrills with smaller budgets. Eli Glasser, CBC News, Toronto.